Baron Davis, famously known for being a two-time NBA All-Star and a record holder with a 13-year career, he continues to change the game as a serial entrepreneur, investor, and founder with close to 50 companies under his belt, and a personal mission to support the black community. I caught up with the man himself to discuss his life off the court and how he transferred his NBA experience to various business opportunities with a little twist of social impact. Creating real systemic change is a continuous journey that requires us to always keep taking steps forward, no matter how big or how small. This is the work in progress. I think about this, the equation of basketball and the cultural significance of leadership, as well as like the craft in yeah. and of itself. Same thing in business, like where, you know, where do those two practices relate to one another and how do you show up as a leader in most cases? My goal is to take the people who are underprivileged, underserved, you know what I mean? Undermined, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? <laughs> and say, you need to be here. You all need to put them here, right? And then when we start putting the right entrepreneurs and investors and people who have purpose and intent, right? right? Not doing it for impact, but doing it with purpose and intent. If your cap table is not diverse, if you're not investing in women, if you're not investing in people of color, if you're saying something and you're not actually doing it, oh, believe you me, I'll call you out. You know what I mean? Because there are a lot of us who are, I guess, relying on me. And I'm like, you know what? I don't mind, mm -hmm. right? I don't mind because, you know, I did it when I play, right? I was always like ahead and independent and, and you know, making the investment equity deals and, you know, not so much like trying to market myself, right? but being an ordinary person, you know what I mean? And being able to be in that room with my peers, whether it's Shaq or Iverson or David West, like everybody feels like I'm one of them. How is Baron Davis perceived in a room? When you walk into that room, like are they looking at Baron Davis the basketball player, Baron Davis the black entrepreneur, Baron Davis just black Santa? Like how, how are you being perceived, do you think? Uh, don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, just get me in the room mm -hmm. and you know, it's like, I like to be in places where I can listen and hear what everybody's yeah. talking about. So I'm always like calculating like people's capacity and things like that. That reminds me of like, just the idea that not only is there a business hurdle to get over, there's also like an emotional intelligence hurdle to get over because we don't know what we don't know. How do you work with founders on those soft skills? And you know, especially founders of color or underrepresented founders. I think it's more about working through a lot of the emotional angst, right? Being an entrepreneur and building a company, I can relate <laughs> to like, hey, you're raising money and nobody's biting. Maybe it ain't the right time to be raising money. You know what I mean? And so kind of sharing a lot of experience or find the right people who have shared in these experiences to be able to like ease your emotional angst, right? And keep you on track by saying like, it may not happen today, tomorrow, next week, or mm -hmm. in three months, but if you stay the course, we can find you. And so a lot of that is, you know, just kind of like um, developing, right? Like this emotional business development. And sometimes it's like, I'll sit on the phone and play devil's advocate for an hour just to frustrate the hell out of you because you like you and then i'll be like, like yo you, you need it yeah, you need it you yeah. absolutely need the uh, somebody saying no to you a lot absolutely. and poking holes yeah. and, and doing those things and to do it from a from a kind-hearted place i've never felt comfortable like selling myself right and you know having to really sell things and so i've learned how to like put that pride aside right for the sake yeah. of the business you do have to break down a lot of hurdles just to get their attention for the product. And, you know, sometimes that's a bit frustrating, but I think now more so than ever, you know, it's like having the confidence. It's just like basketball. Now, when I walk on the court, it's like, I know what we're gonna do. 
I think one of the key takeaways in, in Baron's ability to just be comfortable in his skin on a day-to-day -day basis is exactly that, right? Like, as marginalized groups, sometimes we feel like we need to show up a certain way or sound a certain way. And here's a man who's just doing him. And I think that gives a lot of us permission to be who we are in every room we enter.